bacterial spot, Xanthomus gardneri, of tomatoes in southwestern Ontario, an entry into the Canadian Phytopathological Society Educational Video Awards by Tina Symington of the University of Guelph. What we're dealing with as far as the host is concerned is the processing tomato industry. These are tomatoes that are grown in a large field to be harvested, peeled, and mushed into a paste for tomato products such as pizza sauce. The value of these tomatoes is predetermined on a contract, but the yield and quality can cause that value to change and the farmer may be docked for too many blemishes. Uh, the tomatoes are generally grown in southwestern Ontario and a severe xanthomonas infection was previously dealt with by copper-based sprays, but the bacteria, along with so many other things, is now tolerant to such chemical controls and breeding for host resistance hasn't kept up. They've focused much more in the industry on breeding for yield and fungal resistance. What this has led to is reports from growers that certain cultivars can have different tolerances to bacterial infections of the leaves versus the fruit. So you can have a plant that looks beautiful as far as the foliage is concerned, but when you harvest the fruit, you find out that they're actually spotty. They were very susceptible to the disease. So there is some discrepancies that still need to be looked at. The host tomato plant is technically a perennial from South America, but when it is grown in the Northern Hemisphere, such as Ontario, uh, it has to be carefully controlled as an annual crop that requires a longer growing season than is naturally available. So it is started in a greenhouse grown to transplanter size before being planted directly into the field. The early start of the plant's life is very labor intensive. Um, once it leaves the greenhouse and is transplanted into the field, there's a lot of movement of plants. Every individual plant is touched by a worker, by a machine, and an invisible pest can move very easily amongst all of that. Xanthomonas gardneri is one such pathogen that takes great advantage of a situation where one invisibly infected transplant is touched, followed by many other healthy transplants. So the bacteria which exists on a transplant without showing any symptoms can be passed on to many healthy transplants as the plants are going into the field and the disease ends up spread very, very quickly. Uh, as the plants grow and the disease progresses, the bacteria invade the plant and the plants will begin to show signs such as dropping their leaves, but the early sickness signs can be very general and easily missed. Uh, it's much easier to tell that the plants are infected once spots develop on the leaves and the fruit as seen in the photo. These spots are very telltale signs. There will be many such uh, spots seen in the field corresponding to different diseases, but a uh, bacterial spot is particularly potent and if spread to a great enough area can in cause major losses in a field because as we've seen before, those fruit are less optimal for peeling and less optimal to use. The only plus side with Xanthomonas gardneri is it's not believed to overwinter in Ontario. So if you can stop the pathogen coming in, it is believed we can have much greater control over this disease. A relatively simple look at the disease cycle shows that the bacteria are believed to come in mostly on infected seed. They can exist on the interior of the seed, so they're very difficult to clean off. Uh, as the plants germinate and mature, the bacteria simply hangs around on the epithelial layers of the leaf surface and it doesn't cause much infection or any signs until the plant is again producing fruit so it can invade the seeds again and remain in a relatively simple cycle efficiently. Thank you for joining me on this brief tour of processing tomatoes and their bacterial spot.